Hi, have you ever heard about Salar de Oyuni? Well, I will create this kind of image using Corona, adding some interesting photographic tips. Let's get started. Let's start by launching the interactive rendering, then select the sun and click on this button in order to simulate the sky. Given the much higher amount of light, we reduce the exposure of a few points in order to more easily control the final outcome. At this point, we should ask ourselves where to place the horizon. There are some pictures where it is better to place it high, others where it fits better low. But in this kind of image, mainly based on the symmetry effect, we can place the horizon exactly in the center. Then we copy the value of the height of the camera and paste it into the target. In this way, we will have divided the image in two equal parts. Then open the Environment tab and copy the sky as an instance in the Material Editor. At this point, we can edit it. Let's start by simulating a nice sky with the option Enable Clouds. As you can see, there is a slight black line horizon. We can reduce this effect by slightly increasing the value of fake horizon blur, and this way sky and plane will be blended into each other. Now let's move on to the plane. We select Chrome as if it to simulate a mirror and see that the image already begins to take a shape. But let's make sure that there is a slight difference. The plane must be slightly darker and its reflection must be not too sharp. Then we increase the roughness value a little so that there is a slight imperfection. We set uh, 0.04. Let's move on to the focal length. The default value for the focal length is 45 mm, but in this type of photo, the lower the focal length, the more suggestive the environment becomes. As you can see, the impact of the image improves. Let's say with 18 mm we get an amazing sky, also quite three-dimensional thanks to the effect of the clouds. So let's add a touch of poetry by increasing the size of the solar disk. And since the sun goes straight into the camera, it is necessary to activate lens effect and slightly increase the bloom intensity. Let's now insert a point of interest from the CAS Cosmos library. We can select People category and find some model of people on bicycles. Let's add this one. I click Import and here it is already on stage with all its materials. The question we have to ask now is where do we place this element? Do we want to place it close enough to the camera in order to give it some importance? or in the distance, in order to be a small point of interest which enhances the environment. I need to stress that in this case we work in a kind of image in which the landscape and the sunset are the real subject. So let's find the right distance in which this point of interest is small enough to be visible, but in the right proportion to bring out the beauty of the landscape. To complete the image, we apply a little color correction. We can increase the white balance value in order to make the image more gold. And finally, a little contrast will make it even more interesting. To experiment with variations on this image, we can edit the parameters of the cloud simulation. We can, for example, modify various aspects. We can modify the amount value in order to reduce or increase the amount of clouds.
we can vary the clouds, increase or reduce the presence of cirrus clouds, and also move the clouds closer or farther away by editing the offset X parameter. We have different values on which we can act in order to modify the environment until we find what for us is the most suitable. I have found my favorite combination. This is the result that I like the most. With a lot of lines created by clouds and cirrus that give a very three-dimensional and captivating effect.